Okay, for this next example, we're going to do a little Japanese styled game art, okay? So this is my major composition, and then I also have the fo a close-up of the fox, which I really like the design of, and I really like the characters. You can't see them in, in the major composition, but if you zoom in, you can see these little kind of Japanese girls, right? And this kind of fox, I don't know what the koala character or something, I'm not sure sure. Anyways, but before we get into all that, so we'll do three different sketches for this one reference art, okay? Step one, gesture, okay? And actually, I need to draw a frame for this one, so I will actually try to duplicate that frame. But for most of your sketches, you won't need to do this. But for this, to capture this nice composition, it is necessary, okay? So now I'm going to go step one. So step one, gesture, okay? So what is a gesture? Well, I got this this nice little running creature in the a little bit past the middle of the drawing and then of course there is the mountains and of course there is this really nice large grouping of women chasing after I guess is what's going on here okay and then I have some like square clouds behind and then some really nice organic Japanese style clouds up here and then of course at the very top of this volcano it's like smoking or lava I don't know what's going on there but it looks cool so we'll fit that in and then it wraps around the mountain okay so that's my gesture and I've got some shapes in here right so this is I'm just gonna refine this shape there's no real forms because it is a very flat style of drawing but when I do my shapes I am basically going to do a little bit of measuring while I do my shapes. So for instance, the top of this mountain to the bottom is really only about maybe, it takes about 20 to 30 percent of the actual drawing. Right? It'd be easy to draw it too big, but it really shouldn't be any bigger than this. But it overlaps with the speed that's coming off the grass. So there's basically grass coming off of this dog, so the dog is here. And again, measuring, right? How big, right? You need to fit this fox into the size of something that's not even it's just very small right so I think I got it pretty accurate here but if you need to make it smaller make it smaller while you're in the gesture stage okay so what I'm doing is I'm just moving through all three stages right gesture and then measure my gesture do I need to make that gesture a little smaller a little bigger right okay so now from big to small Keep this in mind. Work from big to small. I've done the biggest gestures. And I've done the biggest shapes. Now I'm going to go inside this shape and I'm going to start back at st step one, right? So I want to do a gesture for the legs, a gesture for the back legs. I'm going to do a form or a shape for the body. And then, of course, the, the end of the body comes to an arrow, which is his head. Right, and then he's got one leg and the one leg underneath. And then of course I need to draw the tail which leads right into the mountain. You guys see that? And then of course I can look at the close up of the of the fox if I want to get a better idea. Okay. So he has some triangles here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move that composition. Let's get that over here. And I'm going to do another sketch, a whole different sketch to kind of more closely study this fox character. Okay. So let's do that. So I'm drawing. I'm going to start with one big swooping line for the body. Okay. So I'm going to start at the end of his tail and go all the way to the bottom of his left foot. Okay. Right, so here's his shoulder, his head would be up here somewhere, and then his leg, so it's important to draw his back hind legs up in the air, because that's what gives him a sense of running and movement. And then of course, his huge tail. And then, now we need to draw some forms, so basically I'm going to draw one line for his spine, this is big C in the middle, that goes right into it, his legs go right into his spine. See that curve perfectly smoothly. You 
Okay, then his other leg. And then I'm going to draw the curve for underneath his rib cage. And then he's got basically this kind of big triangle for so you have his knee from his knee to his butt to the middle of the spine from his knee to his butt to the middle of the spine makes this one big kind of triangle right or spearhead I would call it a like a spearhead I guess it goes more like this okay and then his ankles come out from behind him. So his, basically his, his hind leg is way too big. If I measure, I'm drawing way too big here. So I need to make that smaller. It should be more like this. Because again, his knee is about even with his rib cage. And then his ankles come down a little bit. So that tail is going to end up being much bigger than I originally intended. So his tail would come up to right here. Okay, so my first gesture line is totally wrong, but that's okay, right? And then basically his foot comes down like this. I'm just erasing a little bit here, of course. Uh, the only real erasing you should do is of your original wrong lines, okay? Don't, don't worry, you can basically, if you keep drawing, most of the wrong lines will disappear, okay? But one important shape that I am missing here is his head, okay? So I'm gonna move this back over a little bit. And what are the basics? So I got a curve that comes out of the middle of his spine. So basically, if I look, this is I could draw this as one big X, right? So you have this. It's like a cursive X. And I see his from his toe to his shoulders to the to his beak. See that is one big curve. But it crosses his spine. And it should be a little lower than his spine, so that those top lines are a little too high. And then, of course, halfway through his leg is where his face ends. It comes to a point. So it's like one big dull triangle, and then one sharper triangle coming out of that. Like I said, it's kind of like a beak. And you have his eyes, and you have his ears. Right, and the ears are right above his shoulders. So maybe a little bit right here. And then cool thing about this guy is there's really not much detail on his legs, right? It's just this one long sh triangle. Same thing with this bottom one. So I'm adding forms to those gesture lines. And then of course we want to draw this really cool wing coming out from underneath his armpit. So we're going to draw it as one big shape. And then divide that up into three smaller shapes. Big to small, remember? Big to small. And I can add that pattern too. There's another one coming off from underneath, from behind his shoulder. And then this is another good technique to help your drawing make sense. If one form is on top of the other, then you can do, a, you can add some more lines to make sure it looks like it's on top. Okay? Right, because I have the leg behind and I have the leg in front, so I'm gonna make the leg in front thicker lined. Right, makes sense. So I have the four, the leg in the foreground, and then the leg in the background, and then we're gonna add some. Okay, drawing makes sense, right? You guys know what it looks like. I mean, you guys, if you guys see this without the drawing, you'll know what it is, right? You'd recognize it. Let's put it to the test. Okay, does it look like a fox? Well, for the most part, yes. Right, and the lines that are correct, you can kind of darken those in so that the lines that are wrong will kind of disappear. And keep in mind, his face is really small, so don't draw it bigger than it should be. Okay, so that's how you would do that. And of course, the last but not least, I guess I'll do a real quick uh, version of the girls. So I really like, this is probably my favorite part of the drawing, and I'm just going to do a couple of them. So let's see here. 
Okay. They're kind of hard to see. And let's see. They're very simple. I'm basically drawing this one right here. I really like the way this Japanese guy. I, I'm assuming the artist is Japanese, but the style is Japanese, right? I really like the Japanese style. It's, it's kind of hard to capture, but I'm going to try. That's the point of Quick Sketch. Try to capture it. Her eyes is nothing more than a little dot. And then her. Her ear. It's okay if quick sketches don't always come out that good. That's fine. That's not the point. The point is to study and practice. So this is the sleeve. Here's the front of her kimono. Right, no nose, no mouth. Just very simple. So, right, I could move her forward a little bit. I could put this kind of uncle looking character behind him, behind her. Oh, she has some kind of thing around her neck. Do you see that? Kind of like a clown. I'm not going to draw that. Anyway, so you get this, this uncle guy behind him, behind her. Right, so I'm going to do one big line for him. Then I'm going to put his head on top of that line. Then I'm going to draw his arm, which is going backwards, and his chest and stomach, which are going forward, his shoulders, this big form that goes across his shoulder like this, and then his shoulder coming out from underneath it, and of course his hair, this is the side of his beard, here's his eye, and then he's got this huge eyebrow coming across. Then he's got this kind of big nose. And then no mouth, just a big form for his beard. And then it comes, his ear comes out of that. And his neck. And then we'll go ahead and connect. There's a gesture line that's kind of confusing the drawing, right? So I'm going to erase it a little bit. And you'll see where his eyebrows connect to his sideburns that connect to his beard. And of course, he's a little bit balding, but not too bad. And he has some hair kind of flying backwards because this drawing has a lot of movement in it. Okay, so this guys give you a sense of how to capture the essence of a drawing. Okay. So do that a thousand more times and you'll be really good at drawing, okay? And that concludes this uh, series. So now you know how to quick sketch, right? So let's go one more time over the three steps. One, gesture. Two, forms or shapes. And last and least, because when you're quick sketching, we don't worry too much, but we do want to measure to some degree so that our drawing doesn't get too out of hand, okay? And the more you draw, the more you'll start to do all three of these on top of each other, right? You'll do a gesture, and then you'll measure the gesture, and then you'll add the form on it, right? But just get used to repeating these, and of course, big to small. All right, that concludes this lesson.